Today is Safari Day, so we're just gonna be backtracking a little bit. Just took five seconds, so no big problem. Welcome to the Safari Zone! Okay, yeah, we got lots of rare Pokémon here. And, you know what? I, I find it weird that, you know, those Safari Zones are supposed to be reserves for rare Pokémon, yet you can catch them freely and train them as your animal slaves, have them battle against other Pokémon. This is animal cruelty they're promoting, and we're talking about natural reserves here! So, well, yeah, it's my first time here. Oh, come on! He asked me if it was my first time here, not if I needed help! I know how the game works, the exact same way as in, uh, as in red, blue, and yellow. So, I guess this guy is the one that's actually going to let me in. $500, yes, thank you very much. No! 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 You gotta be kidding me! You son of a- ah! I can't believe it! They actually forced me to have a Pokeblock case to enter the Safari Zone even though I had no intention of using Pokeblocks at all! And- Oh! I, I didn't- I didn't remember that, and I've got over 3,000 subscribers now. I would have imagined that someone would have remembered it. Some of the regulars here seem to know everything. And, you know, uh, it's- uh, as I said, it's complete bullshit that, I, that they forced me to have a Pokeblock case. If I want to enter without a Pokeball block case, I should be able to go in without a po 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 Pokeblock case. I'm so freaking angry that I can't even pronounce Pokeblock properly. It's much easier to pronounce than paralysis, for God's sake, and I can't get it right. I swear, I swear I am going to send those guys an army of Mr. Buckets to chew on their balls. And yes, I know I'm literally a hard B away from Lily Cove, but still, I was planning on going on a safari today, not fighting more endless hordes of trainers! I wanted to go on a safari for a change, what's wrong with that? And, and they just denied me that just because I don't have an item that I didn't even want to use in the first place? Bullshit, bullshit I say, but you know what? It's just one bad news after the other lately. The shiny for alligator confirmed that I can't go in the underground on an emulated platinum, and it turns out that's true because I did some research, and it turns out that you could go in the underground on an emulated diamond or pearl ROM, but you can't go in there in platinum. The reason for that being, the in diamond and pearl it was wireless only, the underground that is, and in platinum they added Wi-Fi support for the underground. So what that means is that, well, there's a way uh, for emulators to support, to, to bypass, I mean, automatic wireless checks. Like, for example, in the main menu, at, at the beginning of the game, there's an automatic wireless check that's performed in the main menu. And, it, and it's because of those wireless checks that emulators have been forced to try to bypass them because otherwise you wouldn't even be able to play Diamond, Pearl, Platinum, Hard Gold, or Soul Silver at all on an emulator if they couldn't bypass those wireless chicks. And I'm saying forced because, well, those Pokemon games are the big reasons why you'd want to play with a, with a DS emulator, so if there was no way to bypass these, no one would be able to uh, to play Pokemon on a DS emulator, thus greatly lowering the usage of those emulators. And now I'm going to put Gardevoir as my lead for just for this battle, though, because I remember that this old man here has a Maynectric as his only Pokemon. Don't don't ask me how the heck I remember that this guy has a Maynectric and nothing else. But I do remember it somehow. Maybe I got thrashed by him in a previous playthrough? No, probably not, because it's been a long, long time since I haven't lost in-game. But yeah, the reason for uh, which I switched to Gardevoir, of course, is because I wanted to avoid using contact moves because, well, it's got static and I don't want to get my Skarmory paralyzed, be forced to backtrack and, you know, all that freaking annoyance, so... 
Gardevoir did its job to perfection, so uh, first chance I get, I'm going to put Skarmory back as my lead. But back to that whole emulator deal. An emulator can bypass wireless checks, but there's currently no known way of bypassing Wi-Fi checks. And unfortunately, Wi-Fi checks are automatic whenever you go into the underground in Platinum, so there is no way, no way at all to go into the underground in Platinum on an emulator. You can go there in Diamond and Pearl, but not on Platinum. So, I'm forced to not use Move Tutors at all. <laughs> Roar failed! Wow, thank God, because I didn't want it to send something like my level 8 tentacle in. That would have sucked. Anyway, yeah, if I do a Platinum LP, I won't be able to use Move Tutors because I can't get enough shards to pay them. I had intended to use Ice Punch on Lucario, but I guess I'm going to replace it with Psychic. Because, well, Lucario's move pool is so gigantic that it... You just can't lack options with Lucario, so I'm still going to be able to assemble a 4-move move set that's still very strong. Despite, you know, I had intended on using a mixed set, but it's going to be basically a special set with Drain Punch tacked on instead. And I was also looking at the possibility of using an Elemental Punch on UFC, either Ice Punch or Fire Punch, since it will already have Thunderbolt. But I guess this is out of the question, and I'm going to stick with Yawn instead. So yeah, I'm going to have two team members with Yawn, namely Vaporeon and Yuxi. But hey, you can't have too much of a good thing, right? At least I'm going to have two sleepers, just in case I get a massive type disadvantage against uh, something with my Vaporeon, and I need something else to put it to sleep. So yeah, I'm not going to complain. Yawn is a very good backup option nonetheless. And here we got a Pikachu, who no doubt has static, so it's time for Gardevoir to save the day again. And I was talking about Yuxi just now. This reminds me, I got a, a comment from a complete douchebag. It's Crystal, part 148, and, and if you're ever interested in flaming the crap out of him, I won't really mind, because basically what he had against me is that I was using Legendary. And, but, okay, uh, you, you, you know, it's okay. You might not use legendaries, but don't criticize others because they do. But the thing that really, really nailed it for me was those three words. Chugga is better. Yeah, this guy's a Chugga zombie. Just the way we love them. And you're allowed to like Chugga better than me. This is a democracy after all. But saying something like that and right after saying Chugga is better is a surefire way to label yourself as, what else? An incompetent idiot. But back to that whole legendary issue, there's no right way or wrong way to play the game. You want to use repels? Go right ahead. You don't want to use any legendaries? Go right ahead. Me, the only rule I have is that there are no rules. Well, of course, there is the rule of only using legitimate Pokémon with legitimate moves, but other than that, there are no rules. I can use Ubers because the game will allow me without complaining. So, everyone's allowed to do whatever the hell they want. Just don't criticize someone else's restrictions. Thank you very much. If you want to, if you want to Nuzlocke, Nuzlocke, whatever the game, feel free to do so. Oh, God damn, another Maniac trick. That means... I am going to get Skarmory out of there right now, because I know the percentage of paralysis is 30%, but it still feels like 100% most of the time, to be honest. But back to what I was saying before, my mentality when playing any game, any game at all, do everything it takes to win. Stay within the rules, but otherwise, do everything you can to win. And that is how I play the game. You, you may play it differently, but don't knock me for trying everything I can to win. Because isn't the ultimate purpose of a game to beat it? But there's a mentality that's the complete opposite of that, where it seems that people will only respect those 
that use weaker teams as if it were a sign of the player be being better. But I have no time left to discuss that today, but I promise I'm going to come back on this in the next video, where I will, I promise, I promise, reach Lily Cove. So, bye!